All right, so let's make Makina talk to this virtual robot that we have here. I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna highlight another functionality of Robot Studio, which is if you go to the Rapid tab, here in Rapid, you can see the main task in the robot, T Rob one uh, And if you right click here, you could potentially load programs and simulate them here, offline programs, right? Um, which you could have generated for with whatever software, like for example, Machina for Grasshopper or Machina for Dynamo, which they generate offline code, all right? You could just load it here, simulate it, see if everything goes well, and then just go to your main robot, right? Um, and something that I wanna point out is this start button that if I press, you can see that it just does nothing. It starts the program uh, and then it stops the program. I don't even know what that program is. It's called main module. It's something that comes off with this robot when I install it, but it's basically a program that does nothing as, as, as we can see here, all right? So the robot is ready to be interfaced with. So I'm gonna dock it on one side uh, I'm just gonna move it up here so that you can see it better. And I'm going to open Machina, all right? Um, in Machina, I'm just gonna move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, Machina has two ways of connecting to the robot, all right? When it comes to virtual, to virtual robots and robot studio, uh, because they are in automatic mode, which is this mode that has no safety, no safety measures, you don't need a flex pendant, etc. all right? because it's in automated mode, virtually, then Machina can automatically connect and figure out everything that needs to be done to set up the robot to listen to Machina, okay? Um, so that's why we're just gonna do it right away, like that. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna select ABB, uh, and because it's in automatic mode, I'm just gonna make Machina be the one who manages the connection to the robot, all right? And I'm gonna hit connect. And as I hit connect, you can see that things start happening here, something changed, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And the play button switched from play to stop, which means that there is now a virtual program that Machina injected in the robot and that is used, it, that's called the Machina driver. You can see it here. And that is the program that Machina uses to do low level communication and synchronization with the robot, all right? You can also see here, that everything went well, that we connected, etc., etc. So we're good. So if I dock this on the side, now I can use this virtual robot and my Machina console to start streaming information back and forth. So for example, I can move the robot minus 100 millimeters down and you can see that the robot, I don't know if you can see it in the recording, but it is very slowly going down, painfully slowly. So I'm just gonna speed it up, speed to 100 millimeters, all right? Now I'm gonna move in the X direction, 300. And as soon as the robot reaches, it's gonna start moving in the X direction. You can see how it's moving much faster right now. I'm gonna rotate around the Y, the X vector, 45 degrees, all right? And then, whoop, I'm gonna undo that, minus 45 degrees. And then I'm gonna set the axis to Zero, 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 90 and zero. So, and move the robot back to a home position. All right? All right. So you see that things are working and communication is flowing. So that's pretty much it. You have now a way of using Machina and in a simulated ABB robot to try things out, learn about the Machina language, and then hopefully move on to the real thing. All right?